Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate, better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. I 
I don't think we'll have more luck with this new foreman. Miss Shah wants to meet him up here for a talk, but he hasn't even left his office yet. Maybe he's busy making plans. Mm. Hmm. Vanya Shah is eager to meet the new foreman of the Mumbai laundry business. However, the foreman has taken refuge in his office, unwilling to meet with her at this time. You might be able to use this to your advantage, 47. Oh, I think I accidentally scared him by telling him what she did to the guy who had the job before him. So my bet is, he's hiding down there. <laughs> That's fine. Poor guy had no idea. Surely those logs must be somewhere. Think. Think. I can't meet Shah without them. Ah! I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? Watani, yaar. He's still in the office. I know Miss Shah is supposed to meet with him on the bridge and talk about how to make you lazy workers do more. But so far, he hasn't come out. Who are you calling lazy? I work 15 hours every day. Ha ha, pata hai. Just relaying the words of... Okay. Have you ever heard of personal space? The way she suddenly... It's not a tough concept. Just relaying the work. Hey, Shane, stand back. Hi. Aha, pata hai. Just relaying the words of Miss Shah. I think she's hoping this new guy will be liberal with his belt. If you know what I mean. <sighs> Great. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're they heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. Hey, keep up. It's this way. Just follow me. It's this way, all right? Oh, hello. Don't just stand there. This isn't going to wash itself. Chal, get a move on. You're not on a break. Hey, don't block my line of sight. In the end, he has to make a choice of whether he wants to stay there. He's a prince in that moment. Aja, it's just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Better get your shit together if you don't want to end up like the old foreman. Samja? So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the Queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes.
That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai the slums. Finally graces us with his presence. Yes, hello. What do you have to report? Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vanya Shah out I into the open. I see a lot open. of dead weight. Anything could happen here. I've made a similar observation. Tell me more. Well, the objective is find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is prepare intensely, study the problem, learn everything I can, analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. And then, once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Foreman. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace? Taking unnecessary breaks? Drinking my water? Wasting my money? You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some... ...order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Huh? Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Oh my god! I 47, our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Where's the barber? My job interview is in an hour. I can't go like this. 47, the street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. Where is he? I need to shave. Why isn't the shop open yet? Hello there. Are you interested in cloth The finest colors and fabrics anyway. How much of these? Ah, hello, sir. Any one of these bundles can be yours for just 75 rupees. No haggling, no dealing. 75 rupees. Take it or leave it. Has it's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. What's your problem anyway? Get the hell away from me, asshole! What are you doing? You need to open the shop. There are people waiting outside already. I can't remember what he looks like. The guy the crows wanted me to provide information to, you know, their boss. He showed me his picture in their hideout two days ago. I 
was so stressed out. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, and, I, and I miss him? Then you should go and explain it to them. They probably still have the picture there. What if they hurt me? What will happen? This barber is tangled up in some shady business, 47. But even more interesting, he may have seen a picture of the Maelstrom in the hideout of the street gang known as the Crows. That picture would be very helpful to our cause. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, and, I, and I miss him? Then you should go and explain it to them. They probably still have the picture there. What if they hurt me? This barber is... What will happen to me? Or if they decide to burn down the like me? Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Hi, um... Photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. You could also investigate the barber shop and see what is going on there. Clown Rangan. I mean, what exactly is he good for? Is it a bit of a show up? Forty-seven? That man there. He resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. Oi, what's up with that? Pancho, he gets to access the hill and we're not allowed up there. Shame. Not the Maelstrom. Greetings.
Greetings, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in many special colors. Hmm. No, that's not him. All right, 47. We're open for business. We know what the Maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. Hmm. No, that's not him. idea how important this shave is to me. Shame, not the maelstrom. I'm sorry, sir. Not right now. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, I want a shave. Not right now, sir. Ah, chalo, bhai. Maybe next time then. Forty-seven, that man by the counter, that's the Maelstrom. Well, looks like our patience paid off. How about you invite him in for a close shave? Shop's open, sir. Thank you, my friend. All right, I'm ready for my shave. Make it a close one. Tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. Oh. 
Oh, that is not good. Whatever it is, it's just, it's not good. Mister, you're a rude little. F ah, can't you? to leave, right? Next time, I'll bust your ass. American actor? Have you seen him around the city? No? Please tell him to come see me if you do. He's got a photo shoot inside the tower and Mr. Rungan does not like to wait around. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Rangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on. He uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm. The Mumbai Food District. He's likely still there, 47. Forty-seven. I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. Oh, why did I eat that curry from the street vendor? Why? I'm such an idiot. Gotta keep it in. No more vomiting. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. See what you have in your pockets today. That's him, the coolest man in the
How you doing? I'm afraid you're on it. This look isn't going to cut it here. I'm going to have to frisk you, pretty boy. You stand back. first. Is that a problem? Hold that position. We'll be done in no time. Go on ahead. What's up? Is it just me or is everyone wearing down? I'm here. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good. It was a brilliant performance in a very funny horror comedy. Oh, thank you. You know, my brother directed it. I'll be sure to let him know you liked it. Hmm. It didn't do very well, but, but I understand it has become something of a cult classic in Europe. I think it's a misunderstood masterpiece. How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Great. Folks, Let's all get into position for the big photo, shall we? All right. Let's... All right! Just give me a lot of big smiles now. Big smiles. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Hero soon? I've got big plans for us. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents. I never did like them. Deco, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon, so my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work! Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. 
I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me. <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Rangan. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come, shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. I suggest you humor the man. I told you I would talk to you later, Gregory. Are you interfering with the shoot? <laughs> How about like this? Hmm? You're a natural at this, Mr. Rangan. Or oh, maybe this way is good, huh? The women really like this pose. <laughs> Are when I pull off this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. That's what we're looking for right there. Great work. All right. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap then. Champagne for everyone. Are main keh raha great things will come from this movie guys let me tell you i've got a feeling that this one is the one that will make me famous you know it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business yaar you know i got the champagne from a movie business contact you know he was so impressed with the production of the film he just insisted on sponsoring the party yaar famous film director from america yaar i might go there next week to talk about distribution deals for mumbai hero are pata last year at the rap party for the snake and the mongoose everyone chipped in and bought me a painting by soham hussain ha Looking it's good, inside man. the apartment Looking actually good. a beautiful painting of a tiger you know i loved it so much so mr rangan you wanted to see me ah gregory yes yes come with me upstairs i have Gregory Gregory as you know there's a lot at stake with a production like this hmm? everyone needs to play ball we are on the same team after all but it's important to establish a pecking order hmm soon all of mumbai will be mine i'm sure you can imagine what that means Okay Gregory I just need my friend here to pat you down Don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off Hm I'm sure you understand I need to pat you down if you want to proceed Funny My mother always said I had good hands said I should have been a surgeon And you were good to go sir Thank you Okay. Have you ever heard of personal space? It's not a tough concept. All right, Gregory. Here's the deal. And don't interrupt me. All right. I hate being interrupted. You're a smart guy, I know that. Big deal back in America. But the thing is, I don't like you. I don't like the way you dress. The way you behave yourself around the women on set. Or the way you try to steal my thunder. I'm willing to overlook all of this Gregory because we can make great things together. However, and this is very important, if you ever try to take my place, if you ever think you can become bigger than Daud Rangan, You're in for a world of hurt. I will destroy you and your family. Your mother, your friends, your pets, anyone and everyone will die. Hmm? Do as I tell you, and I can make you more famous than you've ever dreamed of. Cross me, and you're dead. Understood? I think I understand. Excellent. In that case, we're done here. Hey, 
Will someone... Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. 
I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know, it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this, and we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down.